So today's top tips are around patella ulcer. So first of all, let's clarify what patella ulcer really is. The true patella ulcer is when you have a high riding patella because of a congenitally long patella tendon. So it's not because a quadriceps length, the true patella ulcer is congenital. So as you can see in this MRI image, the length of the patella PL in normal healthy knee should be the same length as the patella tendon PT. If PT is significantly longer and the ratio is not one to one when you compare PT to PL, then it means that the patella rests high. And you can actually informally eyeball this uh, in clinic, but to accurately measure it, you'd want to look at something like the insole salvati index as seen here on MRI. So you might think, well, as a physiotherapist, I can't impact on that. But actually, it is important to understand it. First of all, if someone is grossly unstable because of a severe patella ulcer, they can have surgery for that. And the, the patella um, uh, can be distalized by distalizing the tibial tuberosity. However, we're particularly interested in non-operative management, and we can look at this uh, and consider it during our rehabilitation. So let's think about the patella ulcer. It starts too high, so therefore, as the knee flexes, the patella is descending, and it takes longer to enter the trochlea. So therefore, they are relatively more unstable in the first 40 degrees of knee flexion. So i.e. it takes longer for stability to be offered from the bony contours of the trochlea. So what range do we need to target with our dynamic stability? Zero to 40. Now, they may often be sore in that range, particularly when loaded, because there might be subluxing in that range. And so you may find that isometrics in that range are actually a, a better way of rehabilitating strength without inducing pain. And we know that pain inhibits quadriceps function, so painful exercises are not helpful here. Remember, patella ulcer creates a multidirectional instability, and therefore that needs to be factored into your rehabilitation too. And if you're, we're training at quadriceps, one of the effects that we're going to see is um, the change in penation angle of the VMO. This is the area of research that I've been involved with heavily in the last few years. And we've seen that when the quadriceps hypertrophy, the VMO fiber angle increases, which means that it's going to be more favorably positioned to create dynamic stability. So we want to create quads hypertrophy and a good VMO fiber angle. And that would be A here in relation to the length of the uh, patella. We see that VMO swing round, increasing its fibre angle and also increasing its insertional length down the medial border of the patella. So if you've enjoyed that and would like more about patellofemoral pain, feel free to sign up on my website to my clinical commentary or listen to some of the other masterclasses at clairepatella.com or feel free to follow me at Claire Patella uh, with Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. Thanks very much and I'll be back soon with some more top tips.